Hey everybody, welcome back to Wax Biz. I'm Tatiana, and today I want to share with you the three reasons why people fail on Amazon FBA. Now, I don't want to be a party pooper, but this is reality. This is what happens. Why is that in all my videos I talk about how easy this process is, how anybody can do it, how you don't need to have a business degree, a marketing degree, any kind of expertise with the online world. It's just that simple. So if it's really that simple, why is it that so many people don't succeed? Okay, so we're gonna address that today. So over the last year, I've done coaching for people who have purchased the Amazing Selling Machine course through me. And if you don't know what that course is, it's an online training course that teaches you how to private label a product and launch it on Amazon. And as a bonus that I offer, I offer monthly email coaching. And so I've surveyed people after six months because if you haven't been making a profit after the six month mark, something's wrong. Something along the way didn't go right because it shouldn't take you more than six months to make a profit on Amazon. So I survey people and I ask them, you know, how is everything going? And I found some major commonalities with the people who have not succeeded after six months. And there are three things that I've discovered. So let's jump into that with number one. The first thing I discovered is that people who do not succeed on Amazon tend to be perfectionists. Now there's nothing wrong with being a perfectionist in life. It's great because you're always gonna put A plus content out there. You always kind of give it your all, but you need to be able to take action. You need to be able to shoot things out there. You can't be spending one week to write a blog post and edit it and make sure everything's perfect and add more here and there. No, it should not take that long. You can't be spending two days creating a email broadcast. You can't be spending five hours to record one YouTube video. It's awesome to be able to, you know, have such high standards of yourself. That's great. Um, and I'm sure that's going to serve you in life. But with this business, what's even more important and what's going to get you further is taking action and just being quick about things, doing things. Because there's a lot of people who are doing in this business and they're going to beat you to it if you don't get on it. And so I just found that a lot of people, when they're perfectionists, they get into this process called analysis paralysis. And you've probably heard this term before. It's very common because what happens is people get caught up with just kind of almost information overload. They start to do one thing and they want to make sure it's really good and they start on something else and they never really finish anything because they keep on trying to find the best information. A lot of times what happens when people are doing their product research, they get into analysis paralysis. And some people, it takes them three months to pick one product. That is not okay. If that's you, that's not okay. It shouldn't take more than a month max. So just remember that nothing is perfect in life. A perfection is a subjective term. Perfection is really in the eye of the beholder. And so there is no such perfect product. There is no such perfect YouTube video. So just do your best and always put out your best and that's good enough for now. So, you know, for example, myself, I've actually never had this issue and I think Honestly, that's one of the major reasons why I've been able to get so much done. A lot of people ask me on Instagram, DM me, they say, how do you get things done? Like, how do you organize your day? And, and you know, how do you have time management and all this stuff? Time management's important, but I re actually realized that a big reason why I was able to do so much in a short period of time was that I wasn't being a perfectionist about it. I was able to just be okay with what I created. For example, my YouTube videos. Now, a lot of people might say, oh, well, you could put more effort into your videos and then you'd get more viewers and more followers and all this stuff. And I say, well, I could, but I'm also having all these other things that I'd like to get done. And I think that it's going to be more valuable for me to do them in my business. So for YouTube videos, when I record videos, I don't spend an hour ahead of time thinking about everything that I'm going to say, writing it out, creating a script. I literally think about the subject I'm going to create about 10 minutes before I record the video. I think of a few points that I'm going to mention and I shoot the video in one take. Very rarely would I restart a video. In fact, I've had videos on my Lux Health channel. The other day I recorded a video about waist training and my shirt unbuttoned and it wasn't showing anything, but most people would have said, well, let me re-record that whole thing because my shirt unbuttoned. And for me, I said, well, it's not, exposing myself, it's just a button, it's okay. So I just launched it anyways. 
And so just being okay with that and just being okay with doing whatever you can and always realizing that you can always go back and improve things. You can launch a blog post and a week later when you have more time on your hands, you can go back and edit things and, and change the wording and add more to it. You can always change things. Also remember that when you're first starting this business, it's a big learning curve and there is a lot to learn when it comes to marketing, when it comes to social media, when it comes to branding and content. So for example, if you're starting a YouTube channel and you're recording a video and it's taking you so long to post this video because you keep on re-recording it because you have this expectation of how you want to sound. You want to sound like a professional speaker, you want to have a perfect script, you want to make no mistakes, but is that really realistic? The people who do sound like that, they've been doing YouTube for a number of years and sometimes you need to just launch what you have, put out what you have, at least you've got some content down and expect that over time you're going to learn how to speak that way. Sometimes there are acquired skills that need to be developed. Indeed there are, you know, there, there are some skills when it comes to speaking and when it comes to content, writing, even, you know, marketing, email marketing. For myself personally, when I first started to do some email broadcasts to my email list, it was just not looking good. I had bad spelling, I didn't have a spell checker on, I, you know, had really bad formatting, all of this stuff, but you know what? Some people just don't care. When they receive an email, they read it, and they're not picky about every little detail. So just realize that you're not going to be an expert as soon as you start something. It takes trial and error. And there are never any mistakes because whenever you make a mistake, you learn from it, and then you do better the next time. So the second reason why people tend to fail on Amazon is because they haven't developed a strong belief system. Now this can be a little bit shocking because the people that I've done coaching for, they've already invested a lot of money into a course that teaches them how to sell on Amazon, specifically around $4,000. That's a, that's a large amount of money. So you would think that someone investing $4,000 in a course already has a strong belief that the Amazon FBA business is going to work for them. But on the contrary, sometimes people just invest in the course and they feel you know, it may or may not work for me. And you can't be having one foot in the door, one foot out the door. It does not work that way. You have to be inside. And I can relate to this, in fact, because when I first started, I invested in the course with my boyfriend and, you know, I thought the same way. I thought, okay, it may work for me. It may not work for me. I'll do the training, but I'm not sure. And whether you know it or not, Having that limiting belief and not having the full belief in the process and the system and the training is actually going to limit your ability to succeed. And that's going to be all subconscious. So you really have to develop a very strong belief system that this is it. And you kind of have to go full in with it. And that doesn't mean that you have to quit your job and do anything dramatic. It just means that you have to go full in with your belief system, with your mindset, and you have to immerse yourself into this business. So that means that you have to be doing the training every day, at least spend an hour a day doing something that involves the Amazon FBA business, join a community, so maybe join a Facebook group so you can talk to people, you can see people that are posting things, maybe start a mastermind so you can have an accountability partner. You basically need to saturate yourself with other people online or in person that are also on the same journey as you because that's how you're gonna start to develop that belief system. Personally, for me, it wasn't until I actually went to a seminar for Amazon training called, you know, the Amazing Selling Machine, they have a seminar every year, SellerCon. It wasn't until I actually physically went there that I really believed what the possibilities were. And once I was there, I said, you know what? My goal of making 2,000 a month is low. Why don't I make it 5,000 a month? And then from there, I made it 10,000 and then 20,000 and 30,000. And so I completely raised my standards because my belief system was strong. So please do what you can to reinforce that belief system. That is probably one of the most important things because it's hard when your people, when your tribe doesn't support you or when they don't understand you. And so you might think, you know what, maybe they're right. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe this is not secure. Maybe this is just not for me. But no, you can't listen to them because they don't know what you know. They haven't seen the videos you've seen and 
you just need to go with your gut. And if your gut told you to invest in a course, then just do the training. You've got already the best tools available for you. Go through that and then just make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who are in it, who are also in the same position as you. So that's so important and I see this quite a bit and unfortunately a lot of people are too shy to speak out about this. So sometimes they're in the Facebook groups, they have a mastermind, but they're the quiet ones. They're the ones who don't want to say anything because they are just intimidated by the whole process. And so if you see someone like that and you yourself are a successful Amazon seller, I would encourage you to kind of pull them aside or message them and be like, hey, I'm here to support you. Do you have questions? How can I help you? Because even you just saying that to them and just being there for them can ignite a new fire within them that makes them want to work hard or makes them want to persevere with this business. So just remember it works the training is good as long as you've got a, a good training program a comprehensive training program then you know you can be successful and if all these people on my youtube channel that i've interviewed despite all the circumstances that they're in if they were able to succeed then there's no reason why you can't the only reason that you may not is because of your mindset so always keep that in mind and by the way out of all the people i've interviewed the biggest commonality between all of them that were successful was the mindset. And you'll see that if you watch all the videos, you'll see that they all had this strong belief that this works and that they're going to work at it no matter what challenges come in their way. Okay, so the third reason why people fail on Amazon is poor time management. And I, you know, after discovering this, I actually created a bonus, a time management video training, which is a bonus for people who do sign up for the course through me. And I, I know I'm referencing the course a lot. It's not open anymore. If it's open, then I will let you know if you subscribe to my mailing list, which is down below luxhealth.com slash online biz, then you'll get emails from me about that. But it's not open right now. But anyways, it's a bonus I included because I realized that a lot of people have really bad time management skills and it's kind of shocking. I mean, it's not really that shocking because we have the shiny object syndrome and um, we have a lot going on in this busy world and a lot of distractions with technology. So it's very easy to get distracted. Um, but time management is so valuable when it comes to this business because let's face it, when you're first starting this business, it's not like you're starting this um, and you're going full and you're not going to full time and you have all this time to dedicate to your online business. You don't. You may have only one hour a day, maybe two hours a day max, right? So you need to make sure that those two hours, uh, you're taking advantage of them and you're really getting a lot of stuff done. So time management comes into play, not just within those two hours, but throughout your whole day. And it's important that everything you do in the day, you make sure that you're doing it with intention, that you're not just subconsciously doing things and, and doing things just to waste time. For example, you know, a lot of people, they say, I just don't have time to do it. And I say, okay, for one week, I want you to journal out your whole day uh, from you know Monday to Friday. Just tell me everything that you do in the day and write it down. And pretty much, pretty most of the time, what you see is um, that people just, there are things that they do that they don't realize are taking so much time. For example, social media is such a big one and it's pretty crazy. You know, some people will spend upwards of two to three hours on social media and it's not like two to three hours at a time. It's little chunks of 15 minutes here, 15 minutes here, five minutes here, and it adds up. So you need to be conscious of that. And the only way to know that you're doing that is by doing a journal. Another one is TV. You know, people will spend three hours a night watching TV or more. Is that really necessary? I don't think so. Three hours is excessive. Watch maybe an hour and then limit yourself and have the self-discipline to say, okay, after an hour I'm done and now I'm gonna work on my business. Or, you know, what I would suggest is actually saying, okay, I have two hours to work on my business if I succeed and I complete those two hours, then I can watch the one hour of TV. And if you don't do the two hours of business, then you don't get to watch the one hour of TV because the TV is your reward. So the things that you really enjoy doing at the end of the evening, maybe just to relax, maybe it's TV, maybe it's you know popcorn, maybe it's you know whatever, maybe video games, those become your rewards and you don't get them until you've done a number of things throughout the day that you had set out for yourself. So 
Uh, I may do another video about time management because there's a lot of different strategies that could benefit people, but it is a bonus that I do include, um, so I'm not sure about that. But time management is huge and so important uh, in this business. So those are the three reasons. Um, number one is just uh, being a perfectionist. Number two is to not have the good belief system, not have developed a strong belief in the process. And number three is poor time management. It's not the fundamental techniques. This is the misconception. People think that, oh, maybe it's the logistics, you know, maybe it's because they're in different countries or taxes or, you know, maybe the training or whatever it is. It's never that stuff. That stuff is the easy part. It's the you, it's what happens, it's you. You're the, you're the differentiator. You're the one who determines whether you're successful or not. The training is good. The training is objective. You're the one who ha basically determines your success online. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions regarding this, please feel free to comment down below. When I first launch a video, I'm definitely active, more active when I answer comments. So feel free to comment. And uh, if you have any other video requests, uh, let me know as well. Take care guys, bye.